We're heading to Waukesha County this morning in our CBS 58 Hometown Series. That's right. Our Natalie Shepard will have reports from Delafield throughout the day and tonight as well. This morning, Alderman and Common Council President Tim Eicher joins us with a preview. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So tell us all about Delafield. What's so special about it? Well, no, I have a short time. I could use about 100 minutes, but I <laughs> only have about two. Um, well, Delafield is sandwiched between two lakes, and we're surrounding uh, Lake Nagawica. And I'm sitting outside of one of our uh, wonderful restaurants here in downtown, the historic district of Delafield. Um, and within 100 yards of me, I've got the Bark River, um, Lake Nagawica, uh, great parks, great restaurants. Um, it's just a wonderful place to raise a family and, uh, and uh, do things outside and inside. It's funny you say that because Angelina's is literally yeah. the place that everyone was commenting on our photo. Like, 100, like 100 comments on Seriously. Facebook. All Angelina's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, very nice. Well, there, it's, it's one of about 12 dining options where you can sit outside and enjoy the weather this summer. And um, it, it, there's just plenty of places to get great food here. Very nice. Okay, so that is not a hidden gem. It's a gem, sure. of course, but it's certainly not hidden because so many people <laughs> are, recommended that to us. What's a hidden gem in Delafield? Yeah. I mean, not everyone knows about um well a good i'd say uh hawks Inn historical society is a is a hidden gem um some people who have lived here for 10 15 years don't know about the old stage cop stagecoach inn that's um uh it's a halfway point between waukesha and uh, uh watertown and um it's a great place for for history and just learning about culture and and about uh wisconsin and all the people that founded it and tell us about what makes the people there in the community so special well we're really pretty diverse um we've got people that live on the lake and there's um people who live um you know obviously off the lake but um there's a lot of people that are vested in the community because it's it's a lot of uh uh um, family-run businesses and um just um just a real good sense of old-fashioned community um just last night uh, at the delafield hotel there was music on the hill it's a concert there's several hundred people just listening to a free concert and enjoying the weather and kids were playing outside in the field and it was it was just a, it's just a good old time. Yeah, sounds lovely. Tim, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. We're looking forward to a fun day in Delafield. Yeah, well, great. I'd like to see you again. All right. CBS 58's Natalie Shepard is in Delafield. Hi, Natalie. Well, hey, Amanda, picturesque is the perfect way to put it. And today it is patio weather. We are at Belfry Kitchen and uh, people are starting to trickle in to enjoy their lunch. We're going to bring in Cheyenne Manthe. And uh, this is just the perfect patio. It is. Best one in town? I would say so. <laughs> well, talk to me about Belfry Kitchen. What is the focus here at the restaurant? Yeah, what we really like to focus on is making the community a part of our restaurant. So we do that through featuring a lot of um, local farms and vendors. We have a farmer's market every Wednesday night that focuses on a lot of artists, farms, makers in our area. So that's awesome. We've also got a great staff that we love so much and it really is like a close-knit community here. And so what kind of food do you guys focus on? I know you were telling me that you do work with local farmers sourcing eggs and all yeah. of those types of things. Yeah, I would say call it new American cuisine um, and farm to table is a big focus for us. So so some fresh, you know, local ingredients and and ideas is kind of what we strive to do. Okay, well, the name Belfry, so I'm assuming that it's part of the, the building. Talk yes. to me a little bit about this building. It wasn't always a restaurant. No, this building was built in 1868, and it was a church for the longest time. It has been a couple of things since then, um, but we occupied it about six years ago, and so we've been going strong for six years here as a restaurant. All right, best part of Delafield for you? Best part of Delafield? Definitely the small town charm that it has, but all that it has to offer. Like, there's so many things to do here, and so many great people who really love to be out and enjoying the community. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. And there is a lot to do. Amanda, we have already been to the highest point in Waukesha County, and you know me. I got to see some kittens at Hawes, so we're having a good day. Much more to come later on the CBS 58 News this afternoon. We'll see you at 4 o'clock. All right, have fun out there, Natalie. The Wisconsin Veterans Memorial Walk, where we find our own Natalie Shepard, who's out there with more details. Hi, Natalie. 
Hi, Jessup and Amanda. Yeah, I couldn't have picked a more beautiful day to make a trip out to Delafield, and we've gotten to see quite a bit here in town. We are at a spot right now that is not only picturesque, but also meaningful. I am joined by Common Council President Tim Eicher, and we are at the Wisconsin Veterans Memorial Riverwalk. For people who aren't familiar, what is this spot? Well, it's a pathway along the Bark River. Uh, the community put together about, starting about 1996, it officially opened in 2006, and um, it memorializes the different major conflicts the United States had from its founding. So it starts downtown by the post office with the Revolutionary War. It goes through with a monument just like this at each one of the significant points of conflict uh, or wars and um, goes all the way through. It's about a barely under a mile walk to Cushing Park where it ends with the war on terror and the war in Afghanistan and then very significantly a peace garden where that's the 10th memorial where it's kind of a restful spot to look at the memorials and, and learn about the different wars. Well it is so pretty here along the water. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the the path itself. It seems like we've seen a ton of people out here utilizing it, walking their dogs, doing some fishing. Uh, yeah, no, you can do all that. So it, it, you can fish the whole way. Um, just just because it's history doesn't mean it has to be boring or in a dark museum. Um, you can go grab a coffee or an ice cream cone, bring the kids, grandkids, and stop each part along the way and learn about each war. But then also take a dip in the river, oh. do some fishing, walk the dog, right. <laughs> and it's you can take uh, grandma or whoever in a wheelchair because it's all ADA accessible too. Which is fantastic. And you have called Delafield home for a long time. What is it that makes this such a special town? Well, it's really quaint and it's it's conveniently located for people who might work downtown but want to get away from it all and enjoy lakes and just n nature in general because we've got all year-round outdoor fun. All right, well, fantastic, Tim. Thank you very much. And uh, we're still enjoying our day here in Delafield. We have one more stop, Jessup and Amanda, and we're going to bring that to you coming up at 4.30. We'll see you then. Can't wait. Looks like you're having fun out there. Can't beat the weather, that's for sure. Natalie, thank you. It's at Cushing Memorial Park where we find CBS 58's Natalie Shepard this afternoon. Hey, Nat. Well, hey, Jessup and Amanda. Yeah, when we talked to you at the top of the 4 o'clock hour, we were at the top of the River Walk. We have come all the way down to Cushing Memorial Park. And uh, as you can see behind me, lots going on. I'm going to bring in Mary Daniel, who is a Delafield historian. And this looks like a pretty great place to play. It is. Uh, kids have played here for many years. It was put together by volunteers, and it's just a secret little spot in Delafield for kids to play. Well, in this park, almost nine acres, what is the significance of Cushing Memorial Park to the city of Delafield? It is a park that was dedicated to three Cushing brothers who were in the Civil War, uh, William, Alonzo, and Howard. So the city, a um, long time ago, 1915, they put up a, an obelisk, a granite monument to those brothers, and uh, it was Waukesha County's first state park. Ah. And in 1950, it was given to the city of Delafield. Well, so this park itself is very beautiful, a nice shady spot to get outside, but this park also acts as a place to get to other places. It does. It's a connector for neighborhoods to come here and then for them to either get on to the Veterans River Walk or to catch the Cushing Park Road uh, highway that gets them to Lapham Peak. Which so is it's so a connector. Awesome. It's yeah. a connector. Well, you are a historian. You know all about Delafield. What do you think makes this such a great place? Well, this park, it's truly the Bark River. Uh, right now we have people blowing up little rafts going down the Bark River, uh, people taking time to have picnics, and it's just a, a wonderful, quiet place to come. Beautiful, mature trees that are planted a long time ago and uh, listening to the bark. All right, well, Mary, thank you very much. And uh, guys, we have had a fantastic day here in Delafield. We have a whole wrap coming up of all the places that we have seen and all the things we've done. So that's coming up tonight at 5 and 10. I'm going to send it back to you. I'm going to have to take my boys to that park. Looks beautiful. Yeah, really it cool. looks really great. Sam. Today's 58 hometowns visit nestled in the hills of the Kettle Moraine, and it's part of what's known as Lake Country. Natalie Shepard drops by Delafield. Delafield was established in 1837, named for Dr. Charles Delafield of Milwaukee. It's known for its quaint downtown, its local history, and the highest peak in Waukesha County. My name is
name's Colin Kelly. I'm the park manager here at Lapham Peak. We have a tower up at the highest, at the peak, which is the highest point in Waukesha County, to increase Lapham. Um, so he used that to collect um, weather data, and he was actually instrumental in creating the U.S. Weather Service. Well, the park is about 1,100 acres, um, a lot of different uh, versatile um, user groups out here and opportunities for outdoor recreation. Right now we're in the Butterfly Garden, so this is another gem of Lapham Peak. You can see butterflies flying around and pollinators, bees buzzing around. Kayla Kazmicki, I am the Equine and Animal Care Specialist here at Hawes Shalik Center for Animals. We have goats and horses that are here all year round, um, and then we also have camp out here as well, and agility classes, dog training classes, as well as a lot of horse programs out here. So their mission is to advocate for animals and provide um, humane education for any type of animal, and so that's what we're here to do, is to broaden the education that we can offer. My name is Cheyenne Manthe. I'm the Finance and Operations Manager here at Belfry Kitchen. This was a church built in 1868. It's been here for a really long time. It was a church for most of its life. We kind of take inspiration from other cultures, but a lot of American fresh farm to table is kind of what we focus on. So we work with a lot of local farmers to um, kind of showcase their ingredients. We've got like the most beautiful patio in the area, which we are so grateful for. People love to come and be outside, hang out with their family and friends. Delafield is located here along the Bark River, just 25 miles from downtown Milwaukee in the heart of Lake Country, a small town that's worth the trip. And that's a wrap from Delafield.